What's up YouTube? Back with another video. And today I'm pretty much going to make up deadlifts. Now let me kind of give you a background as to why I'm doing deadlifts today, which is Saturday by the way. So on Monday when I was doing coast X squats on my one of my reps on my second set on my left leg where I'm bending this leg like this and I'm externally rotating my right leg at the bottom I felt kind of a kind of like a crunch like if you were to bite on a carrot or something like a, I felt that in my hamstring at first and then later on as the adrenaline went down I felt it less and less in my hamstring because I was also proactively doing hamstring curls and some hip hinges just to get more blood flow into the hamstring which is always the solution to if you feel something like that uh any any type of pain you feel the solution is always to get blood flow immediately into that area and then after i did that after a while i started to feel less in my hamstring and then more and more caught it in my abductor uh and wait Adductor? Ad I don't remember. I don't remember. Because I always get confused with abductor and adductor, but yeah. The outer portion right here. And it was real bad. Like, it hurt bad. The next day, I cut it there, by the way. After Cossack squats, I cut the workout. Well, I, did, uh, well, I didn't cut it after Cossack squats. I did the dumbbell bench but after that. I went home. And I was also, like, doing a little bit of hamstring curls, supersetting with my dumbbell bench press. Then the next day at work, I was limping for probably like three or four hours. And then eventually it kind of went away. Like I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, being active all day and walking is just the solution. It is the key if you are especially trying to be an elite level athlete. People think that since I have a construction job that it's gonna be actually more taxing to me. And instead of being a plus to my training, it'll be a negative, but it actually is helping my training significantly. And I'm also getting a little leaner doing construction work because A, I don't eat because I'm never bored. I'm always focused on a task. And I'm a board eater, which is a really, really bad trait. And second of all, I'm just overall receiving vitamin D, which actually satiates you. There's research on that. And then also, I'm always craving something healthy at the end of a hot day out in the sun. I really crave fruits and meat and like probably some potatoes. Like, I don't know, that's just how it works for me. And the more I receive the sun, the more I crave healthy food instead of something unhealthy. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, eating cold fruit out in the sun is, it's, it's so like, it just hits different. So yeah, that's that. Today's Saturday, like I said, I'm gonna do the deadlifts, sumo deadlifts, top set of three paused and back off set to five. And I'm gonna make up some mobility that I didn't do on Thursday. There's only some exercises I didn't do because I need dumbbells and equipment from the gym. So yeah, I will catch you guys when I pick up Jade. Because I'm gonna pick her up and then we're gonna go to the gym, so yeah. All right, what's up guys? So I'm gonna be doing a voiceover for this episode of um, Locked In, so. I'm doing 529 pounds for top triple paused. This is a really, really big PR for me, so I was really excited. And I'm gonna be doing a voiceover for pretty much a load of clips, and it's in no chronological order, really. This is just the past uh, two weeks. I haven't posted an episode in a while, so this is just a compilation of all the training I've done. This is, I believe, I think like 450 something or 440 something 
mid 400s for pause sets of five. This, these were my back downs from the 529 top set for three. And my deadlifts are easily the best lift this current block. I feel like I'm finally nailing the technique like right on its head. Like it just feels beautiful. I have loose arms, my hips are high, my position is perfect and I absolutely love it. So I'm excited to see how deadlifts can progress into the meat of May. So yeah, deadlifts are going good. Now bench, not the greatest. So here, this is 341 for a top set of three long paws. And you'll see I'm really struggling right now on bench technique right now. My biggest problem is the bar path. Like I keep setting the bar too low on my chest. You can kind of see in this angle, my uh, elbows are not in the best position but like they're too far forward but yeah these are back downs i think this was 290 something long pause for sets of four wait is this sets of four or five i'm not sure this should be four no these are sets of five my mistake so yeah bench um the back downs felt a lot better right now the technique looks good from that angle but the only thing i need to fix is my bar path and once that's set things are beautiful these are some romanian deadlifts conventional and you see i have a really wide stance now but that's pretty much just what works for me i do not feel comfortable doing conventional deadlifts close stance anymore it's very very uncomfortable so that was a set of seven i believe and this is a set of nine and hip pinching has been very, very nice for me recently in translation to deadlifts. I feel like a hip hinge accessory is very, very well, for, like it's just very good for me when it comes to competition deadlifts, sumo deadlifts. So uh, I think it's going to be one of those things that's always going to be in my program. I'm going to communicate that with my coach and it's pretty easy to see that it's you know done wonders for my deadlifts my sumo deadlifts so that and pause deadlifts are very good so this is a uh, long pause squats i did 509 for a set of three and squats are not feeling the greatest either squats and bench are kind of in the woodwork right now i kind of have them in the lab you'll see that i feel unstable at the bottom it's very visible on the third rep the third rep's the best i'm also working on a better unrack and walk out right now for squat that's yeah the squat is hopefully to, like going to go better this this was a really good day for me this was 380 for a long pause bench single that felt really freaking nice like that was explosive felt good the bar path was nice this is 540 for a single pause squat this went really well too um, the double on with the or the triple my bad with 509 pause was not as great as this 540 single this 540 single felt freaking phenomenal you could see it was more stable at the bottom there was a little hip shift on the way down but i got it back up so felt good this was also a huge pr for me 573 paused uh deadlift sumo deadlift all these are PRs, by the way. Everything, every single thing in this video that you're seeing is PR. It's pretty crazy. I'm on a PR train at the moment. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have recorded for the video, all my lifting footage of the past week or two. So I hope you guys did enjoy that. But I have a long outro I need to discuss. So if you've been keeping up, I have mentioned my wisdom teeth. I'm getting them removed tomorrow morning so i will not be able to lift for about three to four days i'm not actually exactly sure it's dependent on how well the surgery goes and i will know the recovery time the dentist will let me know after the surgery and how everything looks so i'm just honestly putting my prayer hands together and really really hoping and praying that 
the recovery time is quick so i can a get back to work quick and b get back into training because guys i'm really on a great path right now i have very minimum pain minimum pain and nagging or anything like that like things are going very well my body feels great fresh there's only a little bit of pain in my left shoulder at this current moment when i do anything pressing uh, and some a little bit on squats but not really it's more so pressing movements like incline bench press with dumbbell or or dumbbell bench press or dips but regular bench is fine because the arch is keeping my my front delt safer than it would on something with more of a long range of motion but yeah i and the only reason i have that left shoulder issue is because my construction job the way i i carry the fence panels my left shoulder is uh it's under quite a bit of stress so it's the joint and the muscle itself is getting used to it and my body will adapt to this construction job and training and i will be a freaking unit and i'm very excited to be able to balance both but my end goal guys is obviously to one day be able to make a living off of posting my fitness content and that is my what i forgot what it is. my value to my viewers is simply providing this show this anime you could say this progress that you can see me i'm trying and i'm praying and i'm just always every day putting in the work to try to become one of the best if not the best usapl powerlifter in my weight class and age and one day i truly believe i will make it i have great potential if not now in the team three division then later on in the junior division if not in the junior division in the master division but one day I will stand on that podium at the end of my at the end of my attempts at the end of the day of the competition and at the award ceremony I will be standing on that number one podium and I truly believe that and I really hope you guys can share this with your friends share this with anyone you know get me out there because I truly believe I deserve more recognition and I'm going to try my hardest to keep getting content out regardless of my work situation which currently is pretty brutal but i'm working on it and i will i will make it i will make it guys so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy and i will catch you in my next video when i fully recover from my wisdom teeth i'll be doing a nice vlog so goodbye god bless love you